Hey, what's up guys? Sean here, living the corporate pilot life. We've had a lot of requests from you guys for some technical videos, some uh, procedural videos on how to operate the, uh, the Gulfstream G4. So we're gonna kick things off today with how to start the APU and how to get it online. The APU is short for auxiliary power unit and we think of it kind of like a generator of an RV or a camper or something like that. Uh, it provides electrical power for the airplane when the air engines are not running. Uh, it also provides air. That's how you cool or heat the inside of the airplane if it's cold or hot outside. And more importantly, that's how we start the engines uh, when it's time to get the airplane running. The first thing you always want to do is make sure the exhaust area for the uh, APU is clear. This is the exhaust. It's going to have some 500 degree air coming shooting out of there, so anything in the way of it is going to probably melt. Notice the engine cowling on the number two side is right in front of it, so if the cowling is open, it'll actually block some of that air and probably melt that cowling. Some G4s have a switch that won't let you start the APU until that cowling is closed. If you notice inside there, it's basically a little turbine engine that provides the electrics and air for us. All right, back inside the cockpit of the airplane, we're gonna go ahead and fire up the APU. Right here, we have the overhead panel of the airplane. We're gonna turn on the, uh, the battery switches first to get things started. We have two batteries. There's one, and there's number two. Notice we start getting some lights, start getting some uh, bells. Go ahead and quiet the bells for now. First thing we wanna do is always uh, test the APU fire warning system to make sure that's operational. That's this button right here. We hear the fire warning, we see the fire warning. That's a good test. Next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and turn on the APU master. We're going to wait just a moment. We're going to get a, a red light right here that says uh, low oil pressure. What that tells us is that the door on top of the airplane for the inlet of the APU is open. Once we see that, we're going to overspeed the uh, APU and make sure the shutdown function works properly. Overspeed it, notice the light went out, so the door is closing right now. That's a good test. We'll reset the APU master. Once we get that light come back on, then we know the door is reopened again. We're going to turn on the fuel boost pump to make sure there's good fuel for the APU to start. And we'll start it. Notice we start getting RPM. The exhaust gas temperature is rising, that's good. Once the RPM reaches 100%, then we'll know it's fully started. Notice the starter light has turned off. That means the APU is self-sustaining. Okay, we've reached 100%. Exhaust gas temperature is 254 degrees, that's good. Now we can turn on the electrics. Once we have that on, we can turn on the navigation light. That tells anyone outside that we have power on the airplane. And now we can fully start up the uh, electronics, avionics, everything can be fully powered off of the APU at this time. Now that the APU started, we need to give it about two minutes. Once that two minutes has gone by, we can turn on the air for the uh, APU, which is this button right up here. We need to give it about two minutes to stabilize the temperature of the APU so that it doesn't thermally shock the APU. Okay, two minutes has gone by, so we'll go ahead and start up the uh, air for the uh, APU. Notice the on light comes on. Notice the uh, exhaust gas temperature rises dramatically when we turn the air on. stabilized at about 520 degrees. The limit temperatures are, are noted right here. 732 degrees is gonna be our limit. So as long as we're under that, we're okay. All right guys, so that's how you start the APU of the uh, Gulfstream G4. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. Let us know you liked it. We're gonna try and do this every week, give you guys some uh, different aspect of the airplane. So if you have requests, put them in the comments below. Let us know what you want to see, and we'll try and do our best. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Keep living the corporate pilot life. We'll see you next time.